Hello YouTube. So if you just got a Galaxy S8 Plus or you have one or even an S9 at this point, they're very similar devices. I'm sure this will apply to the S9 as well. Um, and you're missing out on, you feel like you're missing out on the stock Google experience, stock Android. As a Pixel owner myself, I feel that way with this phone. Um, however, this phone is has way more features. It's got a bigger screen than my Google Pixel. It's got a S D card slot and I thought and I just thought to myself um why if I could just make this phone feel as fluid and as smooth as the Google Pixel and keep all these features it'd be the best phone in the world and I got very very close it looks exactly like the Google Pixel XL2 and it feels like it it's just not as smooth it's almost there way smoother than stock galaxy but um, without further ado here we go so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the play store you're going to want to install bixby remapper i'll explain why but this is going to help us later in the video but this is going to help us get the squeeze feature or something very similar that the squeeze feature on the google pixel xl2 where you squeeze the phone and it brings up Google Assistant. The next thing you want to do is install this Google Assistant app. I know that there's a feature in the Bixby Remap app to set it to Google Assistant, but you're going to still want to install this app because I will explain later in the video why that is. Okay, next we're going to do something about this home screen. Now there's a modified version of the Google Pixel Launcher um, for the Galaxy S8. I have it uploaded on Zippy Share, and uh, actually, yeah, let's let's do that first. Okay, so uh, on my I'll, the links will be in the description. So I have a copy and pasted it in my Samsung Notes right here, the Notes app. So here's the Pixel Launcher. It's modified. It will work with the Google Pixel. So I'm just going to copy that. The links will be in the description. Okay. Next, you're going to want to click this download button. You may get a pop-up or an advertisement. Just ignore it. Um, click save there. This is fake right there. That's Don't worry about it. It's just a pop-up. Okay. Go to your downloads or just tap... Go tap this right here it's gonna bring this up click settings allow from source install okay go home now the next thing you're gonna want to do is there's another app in the description in the description of this video it's the google uh dialer app so when you go to your phone app it's the exact same google one that you would get on a google pixel i don't really like to use it because i find that even with my nexus 6p for some reason the screen the proc when you're in the middle of a call the proximity does not work um it's been a bug since the nexus 6p that i have it's still an issue on here. It's definitely not Samsung's issue. I've had it on the Pixel. Uh, it's just for some reason I end up hit, my face ends up hitting the mute button in the middle of conversations because the proximity sensor doesn't work. But if you want it, I'm going to include it for you guys here. So I have that also in my Samsung's notes, and I uploaded it to Zippy Share. Link is in the description. Okay, you're going to want to click download. Once it downloads, you'll be good to go. Do the same thing. Tap. This time it won't prompt you if you're using the same app. It's going to say it's riskware. It's not. Um, it's just modified uh, because it normally will not work on Galaxies. It's modified. I got it from the official XDA website, so we are good. 
It's just a false positive that Lookout thinks it is. And when you click open, it's going to be like this. See, it's going to keep saying that. Um, I'm going to go view details and I'm just going to go ignore threat because it's not a threat. Ignore. Okay, so it stops telling me that. Allow. Alrighty, so you got this. Um, the only thing is when you try to make a call, if you don't, there's one more step you have to do in this because if you go to make a call, it's not has the permission. So let's just go into apps and we're going to first want to go and set the pixel launcher as our default. So go to home screen, pixel launcher. Okay. Next, you're going to want to go to, where is it, phone, set this to phone, okay, permissions. Okay, so now we have the Pixel Launcher. Everything is appears good here. You have the Pixel Launcher. And I'm hoping this is the right icon here. Should be. Yep, there we go. And there you go. I don't like that very much. I use the regular one. But there it is for you. Okay. Now, there's one last thing we have to do here. And that is when I go and press and hold, I go to home settings and change icon shape, go to circle. And you will notice that now, the there you go. And you will notice that the circle, the rounded, which is how the pixel has it. Next, there's one last step. Go to settings, go to themes. I already installed it once. This pixelized D by Cameron is the best one. It has the nav bar buttons from the pixel and everything. It even has the icon packs. As you can see here, I don't have my camera app is not the right icon. Now when I go ahead and I click apply. There we go. Perfect. Now I have to do that all over again. Icon shapes, use system default. See, now that picture, the camera icon changed and set it back to circle. All set. Now, even though that this isn't the... Yeah, of course you're going to also want to install the Google text messaging app um, from the Play Store. Okay, there's one last thing to do, and that is with the Bixby. So, go to Bixby, Remapper. Now, remember when I said that there is that option in the app already to set the Google Assistant, but you still want to install the Google Assistant app. The reason for that is, first you're going to want to enable this, but the reason for that is because the... When you press the Bixby button, using that feature, uh, the Bixby still pops up and there's a huge delay and it's just not even usable. You might as well just press and hold the home screen there to get it going. But um, you got to enable both of these things for this to work properly. Okay, next, go to Actions. So you see, there's these options right here. Where is the Google Assistant, there's the Google Now, and these. Um, the problem with that is when you click the Bixby button, there is a huge delay and it's hardly usable and it's just so annoying. So you're gonna go wanna go to Launch Application and select Assistant, which is why we installed that. So now when you press the Bixby button, there's almost no delay. And the reason why I did that is because I'm my screen at the moment 
otherwise it would work just fine. So there you have it. There is one more thing. I keep saying one more thing, but this is the last thing, I swear. Uh, the Google Gboard is what you need. Install this and you'll get the keyboard from Google. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all there is to do. Now you pretty much have a functioning Google Pixel XL2 with way more features. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, dislike. You already know what to do. But uh, I hope I helped you guys. And uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.